music really helped me ride the waves of the teenage times that it's, it's such a discovery of yourself but because I lived such a such a disciplined life um, that was my my way to explore more of myself I used to go to the nature and just bring my drum and and drum or take the harmonium and explore that way that was my way of exploration of myself was through sacred music so it became such a passion and such a part of me that as I grew older and got married and lived a normal life the it just it became to me like okay what do I do now and how do what kind of a job or what kind of career am I gonna have and to me it was just not about finding something separate than what I had already developed so much in myself was such a part of me that I began to share more and more kirtans and I realized that it was just it found me in a way it was not something that I had to look but something that came to my life at such a young age and that's what I needed to share because to me it was not only a fun celebration of life to chant the sacred names that is also um, glorifying and calling divinity but it's also so fun so it became such a beautiful way of doing it all in one expression doing something that I love to do something that is so sacred and spiritual something that brings um, so many people together because kirtan is call and response and when you have a group of people celebrating and doing this chant is such a powerful energy that what people tell me their experiences and so many people have healing experiences or um, really deep meditations where they go into their heart and they get to explore the center of their being that's what kirtan is it brings you to your center of who you are as spirit soul you don't just um, because it also is such a repetition of mantra it takes you out of your mental chatter we get so caught up in life with so much mental um, busyness and anxieties of how am I going to do this and that and I find that kirtan mantra is mantra meditation will really clear all that out and you find yourself in your center and you feel happy and people dance and it's, it's a celebration of life that's what it's for me I did confront some judgment from people that uh, felt that it was almost kind of irresponsible not to uh, find something that will be more financially stable but so I did have some difficulty with that in my own self like well but you know but and I tried different things actually before I was able to just like this is not me and I finally had the courage to to face the challenges the financial challenges to truly devote myself to what I believe and the more I believe in what I'm doing is the true thing abundance begins to flow in a more natural way as well in a magical way it's like there's never like even when I got this house and I told the landlord well this is what I do I do sacred music my income is not fixed I can't tell you how much I make every month but I always have what I need and I I'm able to do to pay the rent every month and because of my my energy was so certain and assertive the guy was like okay the house is yours <laughs> So that, all those little steps each year, I feel like I, I make another step in that direction of trusting and believing that this is me, this is what I do, this is my expression, 
not only as a human being but as a spiritual being as well so it's about um, it's about that weaving of the spiritual and the material the humanness of my my existence in life because I grew up as such a spiritualist it was all about giving everything to God and only serving I never touch money for years it was you know you serve and then you're taken care of so you're completely in a place of trust and serving so coming into a place in my life of weaving that humanness of like okay I have to survive in this world that is very materialistic so it was, it was a, it's been a really beautiful journey each year to make the next step like this is what I do. I don't know exactly how the money is going to come at this point, but it will come, and I know it, because I'm doing what I was born to do. This is me. This is my expression as spiritual being and as a human being, this woman that was born in Chile that has very particular um, roots, being born in Chile and coming into this country was also a huge journey for me because it, it was so it's such a different culture. In in Chile, we grew up as such a united family with lots of aunties and uncles and cousins. My house was always full of people, and when I came to this country, it was so it was a lot more division. My husband, you know that I met at that time, American, it was like when I met his family there was so much formality and so much separation. So that in itself was kind of difficult for me to have to adjust to a completely different uh, culture, way of life. And it's been beautiful to, to meet so many people and find that through music we are all united. It's like the language of the soul, especially sacred music it just unites everybody there's no separation of culture or race or any of that